Hello! Today, I'm working on this little thing, a little Volkswagen dune bug. How cool is that? There is certainly not a ton of real estate, but had a little incident with some overspray. The owner was spraying some stuff in the garage and uh, unfortunately got a little bit of paint on here. So, to eliminate that, we have a big car show coming up next weekend. Um, down here and I need to remove some overspray. So typically I'll go with the least aggressive, obviously, uh, but I think with this, it's kind of a lacquer paint, not clear coat. So I think I might jump right into the Ultra Clay bar from TRC. Uh, if not, other alternatives are the Ultra Clay towel or the Ultra Clay scrubber. So super cool. You can absolutely use Absolute at 64 to one for clay. I'm um, gonna be washing it with 256 to one, but again, I'm just taking my time, go least aggressive first, 256 might be enough, and you're thinking, hey, that's not what the bottle says for clay. Listen, as long as you have adequate lubrication, you're gonna be fine. I may whip out the Sterna Gloss Clay Lubricant as well, we'll definitely see, but stay tuned and uh, enjoy the overspray removal on this beautiful little Volkswagen new buddy. Now, I know there's a lot of haters out there with Absolute on how you should prep it. Should you shake it like a Polaroid picture or rock it? You just gotta tilt it. Don't want the polymers going crazy. It's not a Polaroid picture. Don't shake the crap out of it. Tilt it. Gently. And you got a perfect mix. So, I'm gonna be doing a rinseless wash. This is absolute 256 to 1, so I'm just going to pre-spray it with the IK Multi Pro 2. Here we go. And for the wash, I'm going to be using one of my absolute favorite Ultra Black Sponge. Let's go. So linear motions, nice and easy on there. Just clean the surface up. So I'm gonna go around the whole car doing this. Then we're gonna come back to the clay stage. Okay, so there's not a lot of real estate on this thing like I said, but that is amazing because I literally washed this thing in like three minutes. So I'm gonna take a pluffle because now we're gonna move on to the claying stage. And you may be realizing, Alex, how in the world do you know if you need to clay? And what is clay for? So clay is to remove contamination like sap, overspray like this one has, or any other industrial fallout that you encounter on your vehicle. Now, it does require a physical decontamination to remove those. Yes, some chemicals can, but again, least aggressive to most aggressive, we wanna take the least aggressive approach to clay Again, as mentioned earlier, with either a clay towel, a scrubber, or a bar. Uh, so obviously there's a few different kinds of bars out there in different strengths, but we're pretty mild here. So I'm just drying off the surface. And if you want to know if you have to clay, you can rub your hand on the surface. And if you hear a little bit of grittiness, unlike the Philadelphia Flyers mascot, that's how you know there's some issues. Little bit of grittiness, so you know you got to clay. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. So you can really, really hear, need a little bit more lubrication there. You can really hear the contamination. So the more you go over, the less you're going to be hearing that. There's a lot of contamination here. So when any contamination gets on there, your clay bar is going to become contaminated of course and this is really going to smooth out the surface nicely and when you stop hearing noise you know that it's contaminant free so an alternative that i mentioned is this guy right here the ultra clay scrubber it's fairly new this year so it's a little bit more ergonomic um, so i'm going to see how this works on the paint because again the clay bar is working well but in the interest of time this can also work quite well too so again, apply the lubrication liberally. Oh yeah. 
That's some contamination if I've ever heard anything. So again, just go back and forth until you don't hear anything and you'll be good to go. And reapply the lubrication as needed. So firm pressure, not a lot, really let the tool do the work. And you're gonna hear a lot less. So once this is all done, grab a towel and wipe it off. I'm probably gonna do another quick wash after this just to get any of the residue off before polishing, but uh, there we go. Okay, I did a bit of testing off camera and the combo is this guy right here, the Koshemi Micro Cut Purple Pad and the M302 Micro Cut. So this does a three out of 10 on the cut and we're at a nine out of 10, eight and a half, nine out of 10 on the gloss. So this paint is really, really soft. So this is really, really great. I tried the yellow, um, I think it was the F601. Um, there's a little bit of haze, but again, that's the purpose of a test spot. Do a little bit, see what works for you. And again, this is only an enhancement. We're not going for perfection. So this is what I found to be the ticket and then we're gonna be topping it after the fact. So I have my LHR 15 Mark III here that I'm gonna be using and uh, I'll bring you in on a quick after shot. Of, of how it looks and then we're going to continue on the rest of the vehicle so should go pretty quick again not a ton of real estate which is great i wish all cars were like this but again it's not reasonable but uh stay tuned we're going to continue on this all right so this is a before shot of the micro cut and this is the after so you can see a definite improvement cleaning up the swirls and whatnot it's difficult to get good lighting no matter how much light you got you think he is enough but there never is so there we go, so we're gonna continue on the rest of the car. Okay, so for the tight spots that I can't quite get to with the five, I'm gonna be using this battery powered EB210 from ShineMate that was graciously provided to me from Chris at Carzilla, so thank you, Chris. Um, it was a good happens that situation when I was at Carzilla with Rick, Rad Garage. Make sure to give him a follow, and this thing's pretty cool. Um, I'm using a three inch Lake Country pad, again with the Coach Chevy Micro Cut because they don't have any three inch Coach pads, so. We're gonna get in these tight spots and uh, see what kind of results we get. Wipe off. I'm gonna use Car Pro Racer. Clean up any of those oils with a puffle. Quick little wipe down. Let's see what we get. Give that another little flash here. Use my light. Yeah, looking good. I know you can't see it, but do trust me, it does look good. Okay, the Doom Buggy's all polished up, but I have a care package from my good friends over at TSC Supplies. I think I know what it is, but I don't know for sure. So big shout out to Owen. Bucky VW gets 10% off over there. Oh, a beautiful little thank you note from them. I think, again, I think, I think I know what it is. Aha. It is exactly what I thought it was. So, Good friend Jamie the Cleaner, my Louisiana cohort, if you will, uh, host the Cleaner Cast with myself, the Canadian cohort. We have this, the Maniac line, ceramic ultra speed wax. So this stuff has SiO2 into it. So a nice bottle, good 500 mils, a little over 16 ounces from my Imperial friends. So big thanks to, uh, to Owen for sending this over. Uh, I know Jamie did a video on this and it's legit and it's awesome and I think it's really going to make this black pop. So we're, uh, we're going to apply this on and we're going to see some after results soon enough. Okay, 
So now we're on to the waxing step. So we're going to be using the Maniac Ceramic Ultra Spray Wax. So instructions seem pretty darn clear. Um, it just says give it a bit of a shake. Apply it to a towel. Let's say open this up. There we go. And apply it. Goes on very, very slick. Very nice application. Let's apply that. Got another FTW. That's what these are, the FTW from the right company. And then buff it off. Yeah, that is very, very slick. Top notch. Okay, so we got the Doom Buggy all done. Uh, to recap, we washed it with uh, Absolute at 256 to 1. Then we clayed it with Glear from Standard Gloss, clay lubricant, uh, with a combination of the clay bar and the ultra clay scrubber. Got really good results. And then we hit it with the polish. Uh, we hit it with the, uh, the micro cut from Koshemi and the micro cut pad as well. So kind of that purple combination, which is really, really great for this particular paint. But again, we did a test spot with the F601, the yellow. A um, little bit of haze, so we stopped that went back to the purple and it was awesome. Uh, Clean it up really, really well. And then uh, we hit it with the Maniac uh, Ceramic Spray Wax, which is unbelievably slick. I cannot believe it. Uh, again, big thanks to uh, TLC Supplies Owen over there and the team for sending that over. Uh, super slick. And uh, finish off the tires with the, uh, the tire lotion from DIY Details. So uh, yeah, it's unbelievably slick, unbelievably glossy. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll hit it with some after shots here, but uh, thanks for tuning in.